Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on arranging variables using the transpose function in SPSS. As always, if you find this video to be helpful, please like it and subscribe to my channel. I certainly appreciate it. I have here in the SPSS data editor fictitious data that I'll be using for this example. And sometimes when we're conducting research, we are given data sets, particular data are collected, and sent to us and these data can be in a variety of formats. Only one format will work for analysis in SPSS and that's a format where the variables are columns and the cases are rows. So looking at this example here we can see we have this ID variable and the IDs run in this row K1001, K1002 and so on. So we have, scrolling here to the right, we have 30 cases, however they're in a row. And the same thing with these other two variables. So we have the ID up here, then we have functioning and gender, and both of these variables are stored as rows and not columns. And this first column contains all the variable names. So to analyze these data in SPSS, we would need them to be transposed. We would need the variables, names, to be up here, where we have the K1001 and K1002. The variable names would need to be columns. And these cases, these numbers up top, would need to be in this first column all the way down. So 1001 would have to be where functioning is, 1002 would have to be where gender is, and so on. So this format would need to be transposed. Another element to realize with the way these data are configured here is that for each case, you do have the values below that case that are associated with that case. But for this first column, ID is associated with all of the ID numbers across the top, not with the variable names. If we take a look at the variable view, we could see we have ID as a string, it's a nominal level of measurement, but all the cases have an unknown level of measurement. And if we move back to data view, we can see we have functioning here, which is a continuous level of measurement, what SPSS refers to as the scale level of measurement. And gender is nominal. So we can't assign a level of measurement because we have two different types, two different levels of measurement in the same variable. So how can we transpose these data in SPSS? So if we move up here to data up top, we can see there's a transpose function and a restructure. And we're going to want to use the transpose function, but quickly I want to show you what happens if you move to restructure. You can see here uh, in restructure, you have restructure selected variables into cases. The second option, restructure selected cases into variables. And then the third option is transpose all data. If you select this option, it's going to bring you back to the transpose dialog. So I'll cancel out of this, go up to data, and then down to transpose. And here we have the transpose dialog, and you can see we have a variable list box here to the right and a name variable list box. So here, with this original data set, even though ID refers to the ID numbers, it does contain the variable names, as I mentioned before, functioning and gender. So we need to treat this as the name variable. And then for all of these cases, they go into the variable list box. So I'll select one and then press control A. Let's select all and then just move them over to this variable list box. Now when I click OK, it's going to give me a new data set. So I have this original data set here and then I have this new one that was just created. 
and notice here that the values have been transposed but we have a new variable name case underscore LBL that was not a variable name we had when we started now if we move over to the output we can see that we have an explanation after the syntax variable ID has been used to name the new variables it has not been transformed into a case and a new variable has been created called case underscore LBL. Its contents are the old variable names. So SPSS explains here in the output what happened and why we have the data format this way. So from here, I'll move into variable view or have this case underscore LBL. I'm just going to change that to ID because that's the ID number. And then for functioning, now it's still unknown here for level of measurement. However, I know that's at the scale level of measurement. And then for gender, I know that's at the nominal level of measurement. So I can set these in this measure variable in the variable view. So now these data are ready for analysis in SPSS. And again, keep in mind that this is a separate data file. So you have the original, and then you have this new one that was created after we ran the transpose function. I hope you found this video on arranging variables using the transpose function SPSS to be helpful. Thanks for watching.